Have you ever wondered how the tendon and the muscle belly actually connect? Because just looking at this, they look like they're completely separate structures here. And just for reference here, we're on the back of the calf. Here's the Achilles tendon, here's the gastrocnemius. But what we're gonna find is that even though this musculotendinous junction makes it look like the tendon and the muscle belly are separate structures, we're gonna find that they're not as separate as you may think. If we come to the cross section of the thigh here, granted this is the thigh and we were down at the calf, but this pattern will still apply down in the calf. You can see muscles are wrapped in other connective tissue wrappings. Here's an individual muscle. Here's some white connective tissue wrapping, that white line that you can see that's also separating some other muscles. This is called epimysium and it wraps individual muscles. But if we were able to zoom into the actual muscle belly even further, we'd see that there's more connective tissue wrappings wrapping muscle fibers into bundles called fascicles and that connective tissue wrapping is called paramysium. But if we come back down here, the muscle fibers, the actual contractile portion of the muscle, those muscle fibers do abruptly end here. But those connective tissue wrappings that I mentioned up top, like the epimysium and the paramysium, wrapping the whole muscle and wrapping the bundle of muscle fibers, those connective tissue wrappings continue on and they are what forms the tendon. So it's not like there's just some magical connection right here. Those connective tissue wrappings just continue and become the tendon. And if you look closely, you can see those connective tissues align their collagen fibers into dense, regular connective tissue.